Dr. Carey, who do you have there? This lady's name is Jane, and she has had severe pain in her knees and limited movement in her knees, and she was totally healed as, as you prayed. What happened when we prayed? What did you feel? I, just felt, I felt the pain has disappeared. I started to jump, and uh, I'm now okay. No more pain? No more pain. How long had it bothered you? It's been long. A long time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can jump now? Show me. You can jump now? No more pain? Yeah. No more pain. Oh, praise God. Praise what God. Does he do with? Praise God. What does praise he do God. With? What does he do with? Adrian, who do you have there? Now, she, she doesn't speak English. She only speaks Swahili. That's okay. Okay, so. She'll, she'll give it in Swahili. He'll give it to me in English. So for sev several years. Bring it right here. She has had very poor eyes, eyesight. And it's been getting worse every single year. Both eyes? Both eyes. But tonight when you sent the word, she felt immediately better. She could see clearly. Okay, you, you have her speak in Swahili, then you give it to me in English. In Swahili. She went to see the doctor because of the problem of the eyes. Daktari akasema macho yako haitakuwa itakufa any time. And then the doctor said, you are not going to see, your eyes are going to be blind totally. She's going blind. She's going blind. Sasa wakati mchungaji akasema mwenye kuna shida ya macho siku kwa macho yangu ilikuwa inaona giza kweli when 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 dr richard said that uh, those people with the problems of the eyes she had a problem that eyes she was not seeing nikakamata mkono nikaweka kwa macho then she placed her hands to the eyes nikaona mwangaza sasa niko naona clear she saw the light as she's talking now after that light she can see clearly and you can see yeah. Can you see yes. the people? Yes. Uh -huh. You see everyone? Yes. 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 Oh, praise God. Praise God. Yeah, praise to the Lord. Every head bowed. Every head bowed. Every eye closed. Father, thank you for confirming your word. With miracles and signs and wonders. Thank you, Father. Asante Baba. For healing twisted legs tonight. And broken knees. Thank you for healing blind eyes tonight. Thank you for healing the deaf ear. Thank you for healing backs tonight. Thank you for healing stomachs tonight. And Lord, I know there are many others who could testify. But now it's time for the greatest miracle of all. The salvation of a soul. Please remain with your heads bowed. There are some here tonight who have never called Jesus Lord. You may know about him, but you don't know him. The Bible says we've all fallen short of the glory of God. Sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we even commit sin. But the Bible says, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I don't want a person to be lost tonight. And so I'm going to ask you to do something. If you're tired of sin, if you know you're living without God, and you you want me to pray for your salvation. You want to give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. And you'd like me to pray a salvation prayer with you. If you do, if you want me to pray for you to come to Christ, then I want you to do two things. Number one, put your hand up high. I want to pray for you. Hold it up high. Don't be ashamed. If you want to believe on Jesus, put your hand up. Now the second thing, you that have your hands raised, step out and come here to this altar right now. Give the Lord praise as they come. If you raise your hand, I want you to come here right now. Don't wait another minute. Come right now. Stand here before me. I'm going to lead you in a salvation prayer. And they're coming from all over. Both sides. 
coming from the middle coming from the top of the hill if you want to believe on the Lord Jesus come forward I'm going to pray a salvation prayer and when I pray the Lord is going to save you you're going to repent of your sins you're going to ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart they're coming from everywhere I'll wait a moment let's give praise to the Lord while they come this is the greatest miracle of all and I believe in salvation I gave my heart went to Christ when I was 19 they're still coming I'm going to wait a moment longer if you want to be included in this prayer come now they're still coming you may never have this opportunity again tonight your sins will be forgiven and you can start afresh with God as the source of your life they're still coming I'm going to give them just a moment longer if you want this prayer come forward pastors pastors where are you pastors come and surround them because in a moment I'm going to turn them over to you this is the greatest miracle of all now there's still those that are coming let them pass pastors let them pass if you're coming for this prayer now here's what I want you to do if you came forward for this prayer I want you to lift your two hands lift it high lift your hands high and I want you to pray this prayer out loud after me oh God be merciful to me a sinner a backslider I have missed the mark with my life and I repent I change my mind I turn my back on the past I renounce the devil and all of his works tonight I receive the Lord Jesus Christ as the Savior of my soul Satan I do not belong to you I belong to God I am God's property Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. Heal me. Deliver me. And set me free. I declare from this moment, I am a Christian. And I will serve God all of my life. I will get my Bible. Or I will get a Bible. And I will study the Word of God. I will go back to church. I will be faithful. I will pray. I will ask God to speak to me. And when he speaks, I will listen and I will obey. Tonight, I have surrendered my life to Jesus Christ. I no longer belong to Satan. I belong to God. I'm a Christian and I'll never be the same. The old things are passed away. I am forgiven and my sins are washed away. In Jesus' name. Oh, let's give praise to the Lord tonight. Give praise unto the Lord. I'm asking Bishop Matua to, to make his way to the platform. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to remain here for a few moments until one of the pastors has had an opportunity to talk with you. The Bible says the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. God established the church. The Bible says forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. Bilena sema kwamba msisahau kukusanyika kwenu pamoja.